Hey, hey, hey there, folks. Champeski here, bringing another audio commentary. Uh, it has been a while since I've brought you one, and um, as actually some of you know, I'm in the middle of finals now, so uh, chances are you won't be getting another one for a couple weeks, but I thought I'd bring you uh, at least one just for now. And it looks like we have a game today between Blast, who is a Chinese orc, and... Oh, Yumiko. Yumiko, who is a uh, Chinese human. So this must this is probably from one of those Chinese leagues, like G League, something like that. Um, it was just released recently, so hopefully it's going to be a pretty interesting replay. Uh, it's actually close spawns on Turtle Rock, which uh, could be very exciting if Yumiko scouted it a bit earlier. But it looks like he didn't. He's just going out to scout now, and so unfortunately he can't get any of that fun burrow um, kill, anything like that. Just the really, really early play, and it looks like... Yumiko might be, I'm um, kicking himself a bit now, but it uh, looks like uh, both sides sort of scouted and looks like Blast knows he doesn't even need to scout what's going on. Instead he wants to get that extra lumber because he knows that uh, it's just so, so important to get a whole bunch of lumber in this situation because you might need uh, towers, you definitely want to, are going to want to be repairing, you don't want to fall behind diff in tech if that's what Yumiko goes for. So it can be really, really stressful uh, for this orc, and so it is very, very important to get as much... Um, lumber as you can, and uh, there's really no, not too much that he needs to scout, he just needs to know where Yumiko is at this point. There's no massive surprise that the human can bring on, uh, at least nothing that uh, he would be scouting. And looks like uh, the Yark Rage is about to pop now, we'll probably see some creeping first, and then uh, maybe uh, he'll hit level 2 and then go and harass. And it looks like that is what ha what's happening, and it looks like actually uh, we are seeing uh, the uh, Blade Master coming straight in now, though. I uh, probably won't get any creep steals, but he might manage to get some, um, put some damage on Militia or something like that. And uh, certainly that's uh, acceptable at this point. Uh, we're going to have to see. It looks like, I, oops, sorry, I slowed it down to half. Uh, looks like uh, he's actually just going to be uh, running around taking down these uh, footmen, or at least trying. Obviously, the base will be blocked off, so we will be able just to run in here. Uh, he's actually been brought in as Grunt. This is quite a nice move, just trying to do some extra damage. But obviously, it's not going to be enough, but it's still nice just to put all that damage on there, considering that the human is unlikely to get an arcane vault until much, much later in the game. Uh, it looks like actually a blast is now starting his tech. You'll notice his build now is really geared towards an anti tower rush build. Uh, he'll probably want to put maybe a bestiary here, or a spirit, or a um, voodoo lounge here, and uh, that will get a really nice block, um, really protect these burrows a bit. And you know, it looks like uh, the Archmage has managed to get away actually. I wonder if, he, um, I guess he must have gone around a corner or something the Blade Master wasn't quite following, because uh, that Archmage has really pulled up open a very nice gap and uh, unfortunately deciding not to um, bring up a water elemental try and cancel this burrow instead just gonna be running around which is a bit surprising because he really needs that level two so he should either be harassing or he should be making the most of the fact that this blade master really doesn't have too much going for him at this point still has his TP no items no experience and looks like actually doing some multitask creeping here very very nice just killing the uh, enough creeps that will get him level two and so um, blast must be feeling a bit um, stupid now that he's just been wasting all this time he has managed to catch up to the arc mage but with no boot there's really not much he can do at this point and so it looks like he will just continue chasing him around uh, our great is actually summoning a water elemental here and it looks like Bass goes into wind walk form but I think he's uh, wary of these uh, creeps, because obviously you can just get the uh, turtle or the um, water elemental to attack the creeps, run your Archmage away, and uh, that uh, the um, Blade Master will eventually take the aggro, and that's not something you really want to do. And so it looks like uh, Yumiko is actually running in here with his um, footman, uh, distracting these uh, uh, the peons for a short while at least, but they should really get out and get more lumber, because lumber is just so important. Actually, this Voodoo is being built in the back here. Obviously, uh, Blast didn't want it to be cancelled, which is a bit surprising, uh, just because it's the um, voodoo launch isn't too important for him at this point, he's not particularly low on health or mana or anything and it would be very nice to get that base block off but uh, apparently he hasn't gone for that today and that, that's sort of prime real estate for building a spirit lodge or something that you need to protect and so it looks like actually that water elemental will be the first uh, experience for this um, blade master who will probably go shopping maybe buy a boots now, maybe even sell his TP uh, yeah he sold his TP, not buying a boots actually I guess um, maybe he decided it's a bit too late, boots are so useful very early game but uh, as the game progresses they become less and less useful especially as we start to see um, some sorts coming out and we are pretty close to tier 2 now for um uh, for you, Mikael, and we are at tier 2 and looks like there's some war mills going up here and we're seeing a spirit lodge as well, we'll probably see, actually um, it's a bit surprising that he's building this war mill so early, there's the bestiary there so um Actually, if Yumiko comes in now, he could probably cancel the VCR, which would be very nice. Uh, and uh, I'm a bit surprised by that war mill, though, just because it's um it's a really late for what he wants. Because presumably he wants it either for towers or... Actually, Grubby's recently been... Or not recently, but has always really used spike barricades really well against sort of lots of human pressure with uh, lots of footmen. And so um, that might be something he's going for, or he might just want upgrades or extra lumber. But I think it's most likely the towers. And it looks like this um, Archmage actually getting a bit trapped here. Uh, using his staff, though, it's not too big a deal. And uh, we'll be able to get out of here. And where did he? he TP'd right back to his base, where he's calling a whole bunch of militia. Uh, he is at tier 2. We'll probably be picking 
picking up a second hero and pushing with just with that. Oh, it looks like he's picked up a tavern hero. The Fire Lord, very interesting. Uh, this uh, Fire Lord, obviously, very, very good at uh, level 1. Uh, can put out a whole bunch of damage. Those, those Lava Swans get really annoying before you have Dispel, but once you have Dispel, it becomes so much harder. And it looks like this tower is going up. It's very late, uh, so it looks like we're going to be seeing a tower push here. It uh, looks like Yumiko uh, put these up in a pretty good place, where it looks like they aren't... Uh, they cannot be attacked by these um, burrows and so it looks like uh, he will be able to upgrade them now to uh, two guard towers now probably get a third you know there is a shadow hunter out now we could see um, actually wards going up first uh, would certainly be a nice choice here although hex against things like the um Fire Lord is so nice because that Fire Lord only has 475 health, but with his Blade Master with such low DPS at this point, I'm uh, really not sure that that's the best choice because he can't really do too much damage. I think his main priority should be trying to take out these towers, but it looks like he's been put in a really bad position. He can't really do this, so this is very, very good for Yumiko at this point. And we're gonna have to see what uh, he's. Uh, we're going to have to see whether Bla not Blast can make one good push. It looks like uh, there's a one demolisher coming out. Fortunately, there is a gap there, and so he does manage to get it out without it just being focused down. And it looks like. Uh, he will be able to do some damage uh, to these uh, towers if that's what he wants to target. But it looks like uh, actually this tower's up as well, so a pretty solid defense here from Blast. Although he does have to be worried about just taking a lot of damage, having to spend lots on repairing. And meanwhile, Yumiko might just put up an arcane sanctum or something, uh, observe abort the TP or abort the tower push, and uh, just. Uh, play a normal game, and that would really, really be very tricky for Blast to play against. Obviously, we're unlikely to see a expansion here because this is Turtle Rock, and it's so hard to do a defended expansion on Turtle Rock, especially when you're close spawns. And uh, looks like um, this Fire Lord's still at zero experience, and this Archmage just flush on two uh, level two, and it looks like a. Uh, Blast just being forced to stick in the back of his base. He is doing damage, so at least he's getting something for his uh something for this time. And he actually does have a second demolisher out now as well. So maybe um a switch to Sork wouldn't be the best a choice at this point. But it looks like uh that um Beastary did uh, get cancelled actually. I'm sorry I didn't see that happen. Uh but it looks like the Spirit Lodge actually isn't producing any units either. Obviously um Spirit Lodge would be quite useful just to get the dispel at this point. Even um you know, it's always quite fun just to get uh, what are they called? Um, shaman, because they can purge away lots of these um, these uh, spawns, and uh, that's really really effective in, in the early game. But then obviously once you get to the late game, you really need your spell. It looks like Hex going off there on that Archmage. To actually, both of his heroes taking a bit of damage, but it looks like he will want to get out of here. He has built a shop, so he can heal up all his units. He should probably do that right away. Uh, although obviously he'll be taking a bit of damage from these demolishers. Now a third demolisher coming out. This is very very nice from here from Blast. Unfortunately, um, Yumiko unable to pick off any of those um, demolishers as they come out. It looks like two more guard towers are now going up, and uh, obviously it's quite easy just to send in a whole bunch of summons and just try and do a lot of damage to these um, demolishers uh, because they do you need to pay to have them repaired. So it's a uh, a bit of a tricky uh, decision uh, whether or not you actually want to repair them or whether you want, you want to spend your resources on something else and these um actually one really low peon mansion just to get into the burrow there um, it's a pretty nice micro here from blast who is holding out and is now doing a lot of damage to these towers and is becoming very very expensive for yumiko just to constantly repair them and it actually looks like um uh, blast could just start targeting these uh, peon uh, these peasants which he is doing and that is going to cause a whole bunch of damage and uh, will eventually kill the peons but he has lost his barracks now so no more demolishers he does have three though you don't really need more than three and he does have three towers as well so it looks like uh, actually a pretty solid defense here I'm not actually sure who has the advantage at this point I think it might be blast at this point but it's uh, pretty hard to say this fire lord still with zero experience uh, could might, might be able to just be picked off actually the going for the archmage first archmage needs to be careful because that hex could come in uh, healing potion being used by that archmage now and looks like a hex goes off on the fire lord but it's uh, too little too late and uh, meanwhile it looks like actually yeah, attack ground being used by these demolishers so that they hit both towers obviously they do less damage but overall they do more damage and um well, they do less damage to um, individual towers. Two actually armor upgrades on these uh, buildings. That's really nice there for Yumiko. It's going to cause a lot of trouble for um, Blast, who is now taking a lot of damage on the stronghold as well. Uh, this really is going to be tricky for him to hold this off. He has managed to take out this one guard tower. I'm not sure if maybe Yumiko hasn't noticed it or he just uh, can't afford to repair them all. And a bestiary finally going up now for. Um, Blast, realizing that that ensnare will be very, very nice in conjunction with these demolishers, and uh, we're going to have to see whether or not that's what he goes for. I can't imagine he's going for uh, wind widers or anything like that, though. <coughs> Certainly not bats. And so, um, it looks like we are going to be seeing 
uh, some damage, uh, some uh, actually a fair bit of damage being done to these towers still, and there's really not a whole lot that um, else that Blast can do. He has now got these um, Spirit Walkers out, no dispel yet. I wonder if he's he used now researching it, and I think once he gets dispel, that'll be a very nice time to push out. Actually, he's pushing out now. No, he's moving back in. Obviously, he needs to be careful because these Spirit Walkers are so valuable, and uh, do uh, and uh, they will take a whole bunch of damage from the guard towers and from the summons before the summons are just dispelled away. So. Uh, really needs to be so careful in this situation and it looks like um how this uh, stronghold continuing to take damage but push now coming in managing to take down one of those towers uh, actually uh, he has uh, uh, the um reveal has been used for the um guard tower now so it looks like he will be able to um see that invisible blade master that does mean he has arcane sanctums up yeah he has one there with sorg actually he has two up and so it's going to be um pretty interesting to see how he deals with this because uh, Yumiko, uh, obviously he's going to have a lot of unarmored units, and uh, he has actually cancelled cancelled the uh, uh, the tower rush, as I said, but uh, there's just so many demolishers here, he certainly can't harass against all these towers, uh, and uh, raiders might welcome, ooh, sorry, that was a barracks, not a bestiary. I swear it was a bestiary. sorry, I must have, I'm going crazy, it's been sort of three weeks since I've watched a game, <laughs> and I uh, clearly have... I'm just sort of forgetting all the normal things, and uh, time of experience now going up. This sentry, uh, this uh, scout tower is really nice because it can just see if you're about to get creep jacked, because it can see that invisible.